All right guys, here's a quick video of how to change over from a one bar setup for the alpha system to the two bar setup. Here's the tools that you're gonna need. Pretty basic tools, pretty easy to find around 15 sixteenths to take out the O2 sensor if you're running an air to fuel ratio gauge, a flathead screwdriver, pliers, 10 millimeter to take out your ECM, and then a rounded four millimeter for the wastegate. It makes it easier in a ratchet and then just a four millimeter Allen for one of the bolts. So as you can see, all you do is go over to your ECM. You're simply gonna unplug all the plugs, pull those up. Those simply just pop off. These will just hang out here. And then there's just two 10 millimeter bolts to pull this out. Once these bolts are completely out, these are unplugged. This just slides out and you send that out. So very easy to do. When you're done, plug them back in, clip them. When your ECU has been reprogrammed, you're good to go. Here's where the map sensor sits. When you go from a one bar map sensor, this plug right here goes directly into the one bar map sensor. You'll have a two bar map sensor, which is right here. You can see I zip tied it, but it just plugs in to the old plug here, and then it just clips down here. You press these two things together with those pliers, and then take a screwdriver and just pry it off. It just plugs in. Make sure you have a good connection, plug it in here, use a zip tie to clean it up so it looks good. And then you obviously need to make more boost or change your springs out so your wastegate will allow for more boost. This is where you need the 15 16 if you're running an air to fuel gauge. It works to take this out. Just set it over here so it's out of the way so you can pop the cap off the wastegate to change your springs. So you can change your springs out, go to a red spring instead of a natural color spring. That'll be right around you know eight pounds of boost or you can possibly run a manual boost controller too. So all you do, the one that's hard to get at that you're gonna need this key is this top bolt. That's where you use this key right here. Once you have it about half a turn, you should be able to take it off with your fingers, making it pretty easy. And then the rest of them, this rounded four millimeter makes it really easy to get in here and loosen these up. Just remember that these are under pressure because of the springs in here. So when you get to the last bolt, it's going to want to hinge off or pop off. So just be careful that you don't wreck the diaphragm in there. When you change out the springs, you just drop the new spring in there just like the old spring is. And then you just bolt that back on. That's the hardest part is getting enough pressure on here and getting the two bolts started. And then you're just going to want to cross pattern the bolt bolts as you tighten them up. And then I'll upload the wastegate instructions as far as springs and how to tighten it down and what to be aware of. Once you're done with that, you don't have to worry about this hose, it's on the other side. You would just tighten this back up for your air to fuel ratio gauge. And that's it. So you got your new ECM bolted in with the new two bar programming. You ditched your old sensor out and then you have that new sensor in. And then all you need to do is change those springs out, put the cap back on, and then you're good to fire it up easy as that it probably takes you know 30 minutes to an hour it's pretty easy to do the hardest part again is putting this back on because the springs uh, there's a lot of pressure that you got to push down really hard to get the bolt started